Greetings, my name is Ted Hicks. I'm the Chief Investment Officer for Hicks & Associates Wealth Management. Today is Friday, January 19th, 2024. And so I wanna talk about electronic statements. We're gonna talk about uh, IRS and, and uh, estimated tax payments. And then we're gonna look at market breadth. Um, so first, let's talk about electronic statements. If you are a client of ours, or for that matter, if you're not a client, but you have assets at Charles Schwab, we have recently been told that if you have not been logging in, if you've not recently logged into Charles Schwab's uh, client portal, they are going to switch your electronic statements back into paper. So if you haven't logged into the Charles Schwab website recently, we would encourage you to do that to make sure that you continue to receive electronic uh, statements and electronic uh, trade confirmations. If you're getting paper statements, you need to take no action. Uh, that said, on a regular basis, we continue to encourage our clients to use our portal as it is far more robust. The other thing I want to touch on is uh, the IRS losing checks and how you should be making estimated payments. Uh, is chatting with a accountant not too long ago and they made this comment to me that apparently the IRS has lost a lot of checks. And so if you are making estimated payments to the IRS or the Department of Treasury uh, through the snail mail, through the Postal Service, you might want to stop that and you might want to start using their electronic payment system to ensure that the IRS is getting your checks or getting your payments. Uh, the other thing we want to touch base on is your 401k allocation. We've been chatting on uh, the last couple of weeks about the contribution limits and I've been reminding you to double check your pay stubs to make sure that your contributions are gonna hit the maximum level uh, for 2024 because the limits have gone up just a little bit. So here's the, the limits for you once again. However, what we haven't talked about is how is your 401k allocated? If you are self-managing your 401k, you might consider taking a look at that allocation to determine if you should be a little bit more aggressive. If we are in a bullish environment, you might consider being a little bit more aggressive than you normally would be. Again, if you're a client of ours, by all means, feel free to reach out to us and let us help you uh, manage that 401k. And if, you, uh, if you're not a client of ours, you want our input, but again, by all means, feel free to reach out uh, to us. The last thing that we wanna talk about today is market breadth. So on the screen right now is we have the, on the top pane, we have the Russell 3000 the iShares Russell 3000, which captures 90, 95% of the US stock market. The bottom pane is the advanced decline line. The way this line on the bottom is drawn is it takes the advancing stocks and subtracts the declining stocks and then plots the line. So when we had this massive rally starting in November, the iShares Russell 3000 is advancing like the broad market is, we had the advanced decline line also rising. However, since the start of the year, the stock market in the United States has struggled a little bit. Now that's not surprising after a really strong November and December. But if you look at the price chart at the top, you can see the Russell 3000 has kind of moved sideways. Yes, it corrected. Yes, it rallied. It's just kind of moving sideways. Well, look what happened to the advanced decline line. It has uh, really struggled and has gone precipitously lower. And that is a very big warning sign. Now, the challenge here is the advanced decline line does not measure the rate of decline. It just measures, are there more stocks declining? So they could barely be declining or are they barely advancing? So it's not not a rate of change is just a numerical value how many are advancing minus how many are declining however it doesn't change the fact that because of the rate of decline in this line that is a warning sign to us now yesterday Thursday the 18th of January was a relatively decent day in the stock market and so we have an up day on the candle chart but we really didn't get much movement on the advanced decline line so that is definitely a concern now here's one more way that we'll look at this. This is the same data, but instead we're now breaking it out. Now the green bars are the stocks that advance and the red bars are the stocks that are declining. So you can see yesterday we definitely had more stocks advancing than declining. That's good. On an up day, you really want to see more stocks advancing than declining. But coming out of this little correction, I really want to see a very tall green bar and a very, very short red bar, kind of like we saw right in here. That's really what we're looking for. So for right now, it's a warning sign for us. Um, and again, if you're a client of ours, no need to take action. This is just a heads up. This is one of the things that we are watching. And again, if you're not a client of ours and you want to get a second opinion on your portfolio, whether you're 
self-managing your 401ks and your IRAs, or you have an advisor, if you want a second opinion, by all means, reach out to us. You can find our contact information at hicks-associates.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.